Well hello again, it's me Darren, I'm in the shed doing me carrots. So as you can see I've got a 30 litre bucket full. Well not full of the brim but full. Now I've sieved it. Now the recommended thing is to sieve uh, half combust and half uh, builder's sand. Don't ask us which particular one, but I haven't done this one. I'm, I'm going to try it. Just sift uh, compost, see what it's like. Uh, is it worth finding around putting the sand in? I know it probably makes it finer for the uh, carrots. So I'm going to do one with and one without. So it's been sieved. And to do that, I've ended up with all of this. So that just shows you how much stuff is actually in the soil before I've sieved it. I've used a 5 mil sieve, which I had got from an old workplace years and years ago. So I've used that. Uh, it works great. Plus as well, uh, any weevils. Um, not always in the thing. So out of all of that sieved, I only found one. So quite lucky. And I'm going to chuck it outside because there's a little robin out there. That's uh, going for the little bits I'm chucking out there. But like I say, I only had one weevil uh, in there. So as you can see, how fine it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll flatten up the best I can. And the seeds I'm going to be sown. I have got other ones as well. But I've got Carrot Black Nebula. Three hundred seeds. Now I'm going to try, try, because last year when I did a tester, uh, I just sowed them all over. I didn't thin them out, uh, and you know, obviously. A, a between loads of the carrots, I had big carrots and small carrots, but I'm going to try and do it as thinly as I can. So the other one I've got here is Purple Sun. So showing you the inside, so it's only 180 seeds, so I don't know why you get less. Uh, but yeah, and then I was given these as well for my birthday. Lush. Where is it? There's a carrot there, so I'm not sure if that's the same carrot as that carrot, but we'll just have a look, see what it's like. What does it does it got on there to see which one it is? It hasn't, hasn't it? Really. Anyway, that's gonna be sewn into here. So like I say, I'm gonna get the builder sand. Like I says, you meant to get the fine type, but this is just lying around on the plot. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So them we'll come back in a second. So the seeds for uh, the black nebula were quite big, so I put them, try to do them individually, some aren't. So all I do after that, nothing special. It says this soil's slightly damp, it's not dry, I don't want to get dry. All I'm going to do is get me 5mm and just go over the top. Simple as that. Just a light coat, nothing major, goes back in there, and then uh, when I get the hose out, I'll basically do a fine uh, mist over the top, like it says, the soil, as you can see, it holds, it's slightly damp, touch it and it just crumbles, uh, but that's obviously finer. So when I get the hose out, like I said, I'll put a fine mist on there. Obviously label it up. Uh, I thought the carrot that I've just looked at here yeah, was the same as that one. But that's, as I said, black nebula, nebula and carrot purple haze. So a different one as well. Uh, so I'll be doing that, them three types and other ones as well. So, like I say, uh, for years, if you've watched the ones from last year, for years I couldn't grow carrots properly. Uh, 
I used to always think, you know, you grew them, then you transplanted them. I tried sieving the soil, etc., etc. I tried using good soil, bad soil, whatever. Uh, and then someone says, basically, so direct, and that's it. Uh, sieve it, obviously half compost, half sand, and that's it. Don't touch it. Uh, and it worked. So this year, I'm doing it again. But obviously, I'm trying to like spread the seeds out a bit, and if they are too close, I will be thinning them out, uh, just to get that big carrot. I got some lovely carrots at Christmas time, purple ones. So yeah, uh, like I say, I'll be doing them ones. So give it a go. I know some people on the plots have got like raised beds. Obviously, you have to have a certain height for the carrot fly, but if you don't disturb them, they should be all right. Mine were. Uh, they were left in from last year, so I just, uh, whatever was left, I chucked into the uh, chicken coop and they ate all them. Uh, but yeah, happy with the ones that I got last year. So I'm hoping these ones, I'll, I'll have a look and see, does it actually indicate what length it does? What length it goes, does it say in drills? I don't do drills, you know what I mean? Space limited, grow carol potato seed. Doesn't say what or length it goes. Doesn't really say, does it? Obviously, they look long. But, yeah. I'm looking forward to these ones. See what the, you know what I mean? They might not taste any different. But, yeah, anyway, that's me doing the carrots. So, I'll be getting on uh, soon in quite a few pots. Obviously, it's a bit laborious having to like sieve this to get a pot of that. But, the results is great if you can get compost that's fine like that fine but i like to obviously sieve it and all this here won't go to waste once i sieve all these pots probably about four or five of them uh that'll just be going back into there because you know this is good stuff here that you know all the plants you know feed into it's all good stuff you know like old charcoal Fire stuff and everything, anyway. Anyway, it's bye from me. Good luck with your carrots. Obviously, you may do it a different way, but this is easier for me because I'm moving around. Anyway, draw. Just another quick video. So, my own soil saved half and half. Compost, my compost sand. And then this one is uh, spent peat compost which I've saved down that's quite fine uh, so they're all I like purple carrots so I'll probably sow some next week so yeah glad I got them sorted I am gonna I'll, like I says these are all the purple carrots I want some obviously uh, orange carrots but yeah it takes a while to sieve it if that's what you want to do uh, me, I have got some parsnips here which I've put in little pots there really they should be in here but we'll see how they turn out anyway so yeah there's my carrots start of them I think last year I started them uh, mid April so I'm about two or three weeks behind but we'll soon catch up once it warms up anyway bye